Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Oh, I'm so super excited to show you this yarn today. I am so super excited about this yarn. Now, um, thank you for joining me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Where you'll find all things yarn and crochet related and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials. All free for you to enjoy. So anyways, um, if you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love, 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 love can latte cakes now they always make it in my top 10 they have always made it in my top 10 favorites ever since they came out with them mm, do i love karen latte cakes but i seen they had something new the ogo karen ogo halo maybe you guys have heard about it i seen it online and i'm like oh my gosh that looks like a latte cake i gotta give it a go i gotta give it an ogo now um, I'm going to open it up right now because <laughs> I can only contain my excitement. If it's anything like a latte cake, oh, oh this excessive box was unnecessary from Joanne's. <laughs> it's, it's not that full, but sometimes Joanne's does go report on their packaging, but that's okay. So I did order this from Joanne's. Oh my gosh. Let's look at it. Okay. So this is a Caron Colorama Halo Ogo. Now, I have a review on the Ogo yarns, and I'm not a huge fan of the donut-shaped yarn. I'm not. Um, but, I, but that review was about pretty close to a year ago when they first came out. Now I can see that they have updated their packaging. It used to have a big piece of cardboard here, which was kind of bulky and I thought it was kind of wasteful. I see that they've done away with that, which is nice. Um, this actually is supposed to be a tangle free option. Um, and it pretty much is tangle free. So what it is, is when you open it up, if you're not familiar with the Ogo, there's a string there in the, in the center that you clip and you can just use it from there if you go watch my general review of the very beginning you'll see that i wasn't a huge fan of the ogo shape i like yarn cake form that's my favorite way um to to get to use yarn i like hanks because i can make them into cakes but i like cake form best but um i do like the repackaging that they've done on this so let's talk about this yarn it smells like cardboard <laughs> because it was in the cardboard box so it smells clean is it comparable to Caron latte cakes well it is a very beautiful yarn and look at that ombre effect on that yarn so you can start out <clears throat> let me pop one of these tabs open here okay take this off here so you can start out at either end, like the light or the dark, and work your way around. I've seen people like hang them on their neck and use them like that. Um, I think the ombre effect is absolutely stunning on these. That is another thing that caught my eye on this, is the ombre. Look at that. That is a magnificent, magnificent ombre, possibly one of the best I've seen on the market. I like Red Heart Super Saver Ombres, but this one has to have it beat as far as the gradual color change. There really isn't too much of a visible line from light to dark on that. They did an exceptionally well job of, of it just of a slow fade, and that's what you want with a good ombre. Everybody's definition of ombre is different, but uh, I always consider ombre to go from light to dark or vice versa. With, with such a slow fade that there will be no visible line to where the color changes. And I think this one achieved it well. Okay, so as far as the yarn itself, let's look at it. I'm excited about it. I am. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It does have the halo effect on it as a Caron Latte cake does. See that? It does not feel as close it does not feel exactly like a latte cake um it feels very nice and very soft but um to me a latte cake feels much silkier and softier so softier softer much silky silky and softer 
than this one. I think because the Latte Cake does have a heavier halo than this one does. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like this. I think this is gorgeous. Um, now, they do... Let's, let's uh, look at it here. Let me wrap that back up. They classify this as a bulky five weight. Yeah, it's kind of on the thinner side of a bulky, but, you know... And there are, it's 71 acrylic, 18 nylon, and 11 polyester. So, um, as far as the fiber content goes versus a latte cake, it is a bit different. Po uh, latte cakes do not have polyester in them. They're acrylic and nylon blend. Um, let's see. It's an 8-ounce uh, ring. And there's 481 yards um, latte cakes Um they have about 530, 535 yards in them. So, you know, not a lot of yardage difference. Probably about 50 less yards in this one compared to a latte cake. Um, but you know what? I don't think they were trying to really go for the latte cake look a lot. Or latte cake in general. This is just something new. Um, but it is similar to a latte cake. But I would not say it's exact. No. I would favor a latte cake over this. But like I said, that this does not mean that I do not like this. So, um, let's see. I bought mine at Joann's. I bought mine at Joann's. Um, and I got it on sale. It was on sale and it was $7.49. Now, that is an exceptional deal, especially in today's market, for 481 yards of a beautiful, beautiful ombre and... and and in, in, in my eyes, that is an exceptional ombre. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I love the halo on it of a bulky five. I think that is a good deal. Um, on the reg, the regular price of it is $9.99. And again, I don't think that's a bad deal, especially in today's market. Uh, latte cakes run $12.99 on a regular price. Um, so, yes, it is similar to a latte cake, but it's not the same. But I don't think they were trying to make it the same. They weren't. So, pros and cons on this for me. I love, absolutely love, um, and as you can see, they all start and stop the same. So, every end, you can either start at light or dark. So, there's no color control needed. I absolutely adore the ombre effect on these. I think it's the, some of the greatest, it's one of the greatest ombre effects that I've ever seen in a yarn in a long time as far as going from light to dark really with no visible change in color whatsoever i'm going to pop this tab off too so you can have a better look at that ombre that i'm talking about i get really crazy i love ombre yarns <laughs> and it's so hard to find a good one that is absolutely stunning look at that when you make that up you're not going to see no no line at all it's just going to be a straight light to dark without any visible uh, you won't even know it. It's just going to be such a slow fade. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Very, it's very scarfable, and I do like the halo on it. But I myself would not compare it to Caron Latte Cakes. Like I said, it's similar, but it's definitely not silky, as silky and as soft as a Caron Latte Cake. But it's a different kind of soft. Okay, it's not as silky soft, but it's a very beautiful yarn. I'm not a fan of the Ogo. I do not, I can absolutely just tell you, I can be honest and tell you, I do not like the Ogo ring. That's only just me. Um, I, d I don't like it. Um, I prefer, like I said, cake, cake, cake or skeins. Um, this would be my absolutely least favorite way to use a yarn is the Ogo. But does that outweigh the yarn? Yes, yes. I'll use the Ogo to use this yarn because this yarn is absolutely gorgeous. And at Joann's right now, $7.49. That's such a killer deal. That's such a killer deal. This yarn is so pretty. My gosh. Was it everything I expected? Almost. Almost. Um, I kind of thought it would be a little bit more similar to a latte cake. But like I said, I do not think that's what they were going for. They wanted it, I think they wanted it to be similar, but yet different. And it is. It does have the halo. Just not as long of a halo as the latte cake and not as silky. But it's still, nonetheless, that is going to make a gorgeous, gorgeous ombre sweater. So, I only, I think I got four colors and I'm going to show, they had more colors. But I'm going to show you the four I got. 
I love it. I do love it. Um, if I was to rate this um, a 9 out of 10, or a 1 out of 10, 10 being the best, um, I'm going to give it a little bit off because I don't think that's a straight bulky 5, honestly. Unless you're counting the fuzz, I guess sometimes they take that in consideration. All right, so we'll just take that off. It's definitely got a 10 for their ombre effect on that. Definitely a 10. Um, softness factor, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good nine on the softness factor. The Ogo, I don't like at all. Like I said, that's, that's, if they kick this up, man, that would be a perfect 10 ombre. Mm, that's unfortunate that they did not kick that up. But, you know, that's just me. Some people like the Ogo shape. I still use it, though. I mean, I'll use it. I do like the way that they repackaged the Ogo so it doesn't have all that bulky cardboard in the middle. If you watch my old review or if you remember the old Ogos, they had like this huge, it was just horrible. But now that you know, they just have this simple label on the top, which is a lot better. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, it would be a solid 10 if this was in cake formation and every cake started and stopped at the same, you know, so there was no color control. If you ended in light, you could start again in dark. Um, that way you're ombre just went completely the way it's supposed to you know um but i i like it so the ogo shape is really the only thing bringing it down for me i love everything else about it it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous all right i'm gonna go i could go on and on about it forever and i already have my videos way too long i'm just gonna show you the colors i get this one is rose Fro rose frost oh, think of a sweater out of that hmm. it's beautiful but remember, I don't want you, if you're familiar with latte cakes, I don't want you to think that this is going to feel like a latte cake because it does not. It's similar, but it's not as soft and silky, okay? Just remember that. But it's still so beautiful. That ombre that they got it, I just can't get over that. It's such a beautiful ombre. And then I got a nice and neutral gray here. I thought this would make a nice sweater. This one's called Graphite Frost. I like that. That's beautiful. See that beautiful ombre on that? Oh, it's gorgeous. And like I said, I love it. They're, they're just all exactly the same. So you're going to start off where you ended. And your ombre is not going to have any, kind of like Red Heart, you know, it just starts and stops wherever it goes. And you kind of got to roll with it. And sometimes your ombres are, you, you stop in the middle of a medium and then you have to start, to start in a light and it just doesn't work out. It's not a slow fade. This is going to be awesome. <clears throat> I got this beautiful, beautiful green. Oh my mind. That is so pretty. What rosemary frost. I'm thinking that is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> ah, Karen. Karen, you got me hooked on these. Make these in a cake. Come on, put these in a cake. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Um,. This one, I was the first one I threw in my card. absolutely fell in love with that yellow. Wow, look at that. I'm going to make a sweater out of this one. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with the others yet. Uh, but I'm definitely going to make a sweater out of this one. I saw this one. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's called uh, Beeswax Frost. Gosh, that's beautiful. Gosh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, or beautiful, beautiful... Uh, ombre now they call it the halo because when the yarn has the fuzzies like that that's called a halo so color rama halo love it one more you know i couldn't leave without a brown i had to get a brown and it is just as gorgeous as the rest oh that's so pretty that's so pretty I am such a yarn weirdo. I love yarn so, so much. That is so gorgeous. I love it. Would I buy this again? In a heartbeat. Even though I do not like the Ogo at all. If they put this in a cake, I would still buy it more probably. <laughs> but, but this is so beautiful. I love it a lot. Karen, you did an excellent job on this one. Um, my last review of your Ogos, I wasn't a huge fan of the Ogo myself uh but i do like your repackaging um that you have done with it um i won't buy any of the other ogos because like i said i don't 
I just don't like it. But I do love this ombre effect on this. And I do love the halo. So it's, you know, in, in conclusions, I like it. I'll buy it again even though I, you know, it's shaped like this. Um, the ombre effect is just so beautiful. The halo is so beautiful. You hit it out of the park, Caron. Good job, your inspirations. Good job on this one. It's a bag of day approved. I love it. Cake it up. I'll love it more. Bye, guys. Hey, if you have tried this, let me know your thoughts in the comments, okay? I'm interested.